Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots and I'm back at it again with Mo Crypto Game. And today it's just like I kind of want to express myself, right? Because this is another little secret that I've come to notice that's helped my success, right? First of all, for anyone who may not know, I'm black or African American, whatever, the, 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 or Moorish. However you want to describe it, there's a lot of different terms. Black people and having even come to terms with what terms they should be, uh, you know, <laughs> referred to as. But anyways, uh, a lot of my audience comes from the black conscious community based on, uh, you know, uh, my upbringing on this channel. And I'm down. I'm down with black consciousness. I am black consciousness. Like, I am it. Like, I don't have to try to prove it or post some avatars of uh, some Egyptian gods or goddesses and call my name this and call my name that and wear this. No, I am black excellence, right? Because ever since I even read Malcolm X, my mind has been on a whole... I, I, I became a different person from reading his autobiography. And it's helped me on my journey and the decisions I've made in my life, right? But when it comes to the crypto game, and I'm... every. Every race has its own set of issues, all right? Every race. So let's not say that it's only, it's, it's only in America that I noticed that that shit, that racism thing is so pushed so strongly. It's like embedded in you as a child. But once you start to travel the world, you really start to realize like people appreciate your blackness. Pre people appreciate your melanin. People are curious. People want to ask you questions like, I, I get treated so much better in Hawaii and Mexico than ever in any place in the U.S., right? So sometimes you got to break out of those, those idea law, those, the way you were raised and all those social boundaries. Sometimes you need to break out of that and go somewhere else and realize the world is not that bad. Everyone's not that racist. People aren't, aren't, aren't out to get me. In fact, more people are trying to cause me harm of my own race in America than outside of America. And that is absolute facts. I've been more in fear, not in fear, but I've been more, my life has been threatened more by black people in, in many different ways than any other race in my experience of being a, a black person in my life in the places I've traveled. This is absolute facts, but yet I still love my blackness, my melanin, and I still rep it hard, especially on my YouTube channel. But when it comes to this crypto shit, it's not, oh, it's not about race. And that's where I want to help people who are stuck in that race or, uh, yeah, get out of that because it doesn't belong in this crypto game. There's many, many, many beautiful, bright minds around the world with so much to offer you, right? And if you were to put their race before what they have to say and uh, the experiences that, that they're trying to share with you, you're lost, bro. You'll always be lost. You'll always be a prisoner of your own mind and you'll never make, you won't, you won't access that much money because you, you, limited, you limit yourself. So much so that somebody who's a genius, you can't even see it because of their race, right? And you got to break out of that, especially when it comes to this crypto game. There's so many powerful, beautiful minds from every single race that are about the revolution, that are, that are, that are doing the best they can with what they have, where they grew up, the finances they have to, to, for the revolution. And you should too. Don't be sitting back judging people because they got more money because they're a different race. No, that, that's brainwash shit that's going to keep you locked, poor, in poverty and stuck in, in a racist country. Think, you know, and I'm sorry, but that's the truth. That's the truth. So we got to break out of that because so many people around the world who are mostly anonymous, this chick is a beast. I would not be Crypto Roots if it wasn't for this chick and her YouTube channel. Right? She's from Singapore. Man, this, I spend most of my time watching her YouTube channel because she drops so much game. It's unbelievable how much game, economics game, this chick has to offer. And she is offering. She don't even got nearly as many subscribers as I do. And she, she's like a professor to me. She's definitely a professor. She's a boss. I appreciate her, her work hustle. I admire it. I seriously admire this, this, this young Asian woman. Right. And and so I spent most of my time just trying to keep up with her videos to keep me on top of the game. And this is another brother I, I want to re reach out to. This brother is one of the lead developers and software developers for the ZZZ Finance. This brother's putting in the work, pushing in, putting in the work to make ZZZ pop off. Right. To, to make sure that you guys get the most out of your money and your investments 
people are working overtime from around the world, all different types of people, all different types of genders and races. So really, it's a, it's not even a crypt, it's not a race thing no more, right? When everything's supposed to be an, a t anonymous and decentralized, who cares what race you are? You are part of, you part of the game. You're one of the early adopters, right? You one of the early people. Regardless, you took your money, you took a risk, and you invested in the crypto game. And now we're all, we all share this. We all share this, regardless of your race. Right, we all should. We all gonna make it in the end, right? This chick right here is a motherfucking beast, bro. At flash loans, at flash loans, this chick is a beast. I just got a hold of her. She's a um, software engineer, genius, flash loan fucking goddess. Like I'm still, and I'm trying to keep up with her. I'm downloading her software, trying to get all my bugs, trying to get uh, just get her software program to work on my software program to figure out how she does flash loans. Like, I'm telling you, like so. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna lock yourself into a box if you put race and gender and all these things before uh, You know humanity really because there's a lot of bright things going on as much as there's a lot of negative things going on It's about what you're focused in this this brother right here This brother right here is one of my top crypto influencers on crypto Twitter, right? Some of the best advice I get on crypto and Ethereum investing is from this dude in this account, right? It's on some serious shit, right? I, and so it doesn't matter whether you're from the streets, doesn't matter where your business do, young women, doesn't matter in this game. We're all in this crypto game. We all want to make the best and give the have the best experience possible, right? So, and this dude is a genius. Absolute genius, genius, genius. This is the dude who created Ample Forth, who came up with the idea and put in the work and put in the struggle to bring Ample Forth alive. Elastic supply currency. This dude just changed. He's the new, like another Satoshi, right? And then I'd even get into Andre. I don't even have to put Andre's face up, but that just goes to show it's not about race no more. It's not about race, right? It's a, it's a, we all a crypto race. We all, uh, uh, and these are the people who choose to show their faces, really, such as myself as well, you know? So just this crypto game takes you to a whole new level. It doesn't matter what race we're all in the struggle together and we're all trying to come up together And so I'm telling you it's been being in the crypto game has been one of the best experiences I've ever done and I, I don't I don't really care You know I as long as you respect me. I respect you right and not just that I got some of my first uh, Mentees who are, who are Caucasian males, right? Most of my mentees are black black men no doubt, but I got my f first few Caucasian males and I still treat them like brothers why? Because they know what I'm about. They watched my channel. They took the time. They took the trust. They invested in me. So I treat them like brothers. Why? Because I, they respected me and I'm going to respect them. And that's it. That's that's all I care about. How you treat me is how I'm going to treat you. And if you look out for me, I'm going to look out for you regardless of your race. Regardless of your race. And we all can make money together. Much love. Take it easy. Peace.